Well, check this out, guys. This is a Honda XR650R stock handlebar. And I'm kind of curious if I can put this in the Honda Shadow. Let's try it out. So as you guys know, this bike has got these handlebars that are swooping back quite a bit. I don't quite like the style. So I was thinking, perhaps, if I put this on, it would be a little bit straighter. And it might be kind of cool. So it's going to make it a little bit more narrower. I guess it's a little bit less wide. But I don't know if this is the right diameter. So I have nothing really to lose. I'm going to put some cloth here. And I'm going to take these bolts out. And I'm just going to see if it actually will hold. If it does, I should be able to transfer everything onto here. First thing we're going to do is remove this. It's kind of interesting. There's two size bolts. I have never even realized that. There's, these two are the same size and these are two different sizes. I don't know if that's a stock one. I believe these aren't stock or at least it's missing. I think there's these covers that go on there. And everybody's into like modifying bikes. So I figure, oh yeah, I want to try and modify my bike. And I was actually thinking about putting my XR650R front end on this with a 21 inch wheel. It would look pretty trick, I think. Um, but I would have to remove the triple trees. There we go. My XR650, and it seems to fit. Wow, it does seem to fit. So that's kind of cool. So before I tighten it up, I want to sit on the bike and see how it feels. So normally, the handlebars would be here, and now, it's kind of neat. Huh. It's much shorter. It, the length is much shorter. There's less room. <laughs> it's kind of a neat uh, little thing. The handlebars are just so much thinner because I guess you have to go through off-roading and the bush. But I kind of like it. It's a little bit more upright. I'm going to like go ahead and see if this will work. I had another XR650R and I had the handlebars just hanging out there. The one thing I would like though is a cross brace on it because then you could mount the GPS but this is fine and it seems to be more chopper like I think. Seems to be a little bit more modern. Will actually fit. And remember there's two different sizes here which is kind of odd. So the only thing that we need to kind of figure out is the do you want it to be higher up or do you want it to be lower down. And keep in mind you want it to be the exact same width over here. There is a way to measure it. If you take it out, there's some bars on the handlebars. I think I'm gonna keep it slightly bent this way. Um, let's go ahead and like put the tighten, we need just to tighten these out. And I'm gonna, what you should do is uh, tighten things in here in a cross pattern. Let's get the other one. Hang on to the master cylinder on the other side. There we go. So there's uh, two screws here. I think, can I slide this out or what's going on? Oh man, I have to slide the, uh, this out. So I put some WD-40 on here and now I should be able to twist the grip out of uh, place. I'm kind of looking at the handle, but it looks a little bit thinner. So let's see, nah, it'll, it should work. So it's like that. So it'll slide in and let's see if we have enough room. Yeah, I think we do have enough room here. I definitely should have removed everything with the uh, handlebars on there. But because I wasn't sure this was going to work, that's the only reason I didn't. So if you can remove all the components first. That's one bolt. Right, there we go. And here comes the handlebars. Just get these things out of here. It clears it really well. Put this on as soon as possible. That way we don't leave the master cylinder just hanging. 
And so I kind of got lucky with the, I think it should be a little bit more like this. So it gives it a little bit more room there. We don't want this to come loose as you're riding. But that's that, where this side is done. I don't like the angle too much of the brake master cylinder, but I think it should be fine. I think it'll make it difficult to level out, but I think if you turn it this way, you should be able to, to fill it up pretty well. So that means that with a shorter handlebar, you're gonna have less leverage to turn the bike. It makes it a little bit hard to turn. I might as well just kind of remove some of this gunk and this is our throttle or our choke there we go aha okay so that's i think that's the right way all right perfect and it's on there okay so different size bolts for each side, I didn't realize that, so keep that in mind. All right, one last bolt to hold this together. The long one goes towards the back. I fixed the bike up with a new fuse, tape it all up, and I, I wanna test out these new handlebars. So they are, start this thing up. <clears throat> It's a very different position, very different. So these are XR650R handlebars. So it's kind of a crazy looking bar, but I think I like it a little bit more than the, the handlebars that kind of swoop down a bit. I think my throttle is sticking a bit, but I prefer this way more. So my uh, throttle is sticking. Bike, I don't know, it sounds pretty good. Want to signal? Yeah, the handlebars, I don't know, it seems kind of cool. It's a very strange, strange position. I wish they was actually lower. I think if they were lower over here, it would make a lot more sense for me. I think, because this, before, with the other handlebars, the um, position, and I think I have to change the my brake lever as well. The handlebar was actually like over here. So when it was over here, I, I think it was like kind of very cruisery. I don't think I like that style too much. But it feels a lot sportier having the handlebars the, in the position. Man, this guy's going fast with the trailer. Yeah, this feels like a much better position for kind of like just regular riding, I think. Looks wise, this kind of gives it a different, different style that's kind of cool. Yeah, I kind of like it. I like the handlebars. Is it easier to turn? Yeah, it's a little bit, it's actually a little bit easier to turn than the the regular ones. Look at that. I was not able to do this with the stock handlebars on the shadow. So this actually turns so much better. I could not turn this much using the stock stock handlebars. So I can do these U-turns a lot easier on this bike with these handlebars, I, I think it makes a lot of sense. The only issue is the, let's stop and look around a bit. I'm gonna put it on the center stand. I really like it when the bikes go on the center stand. It was a direct fit. I don't see anything wrong with it. I tied this together. Um, my front brakes are really mushy and I think it's because, I hope I'm not leaking too much i think it is missing there is some fluid down here i'm kind of worried about that but yeah the handlebars look at that it looks just so much better 
looks so much better. Yeah, the bike's riding really well. I am amazed that this thing is from 1985. I just can't believe it. You would think that somehow something this old would not be this tight, you know, engine, transmission, everything is just tight on it. Okay, electrics, I'm having issues because I am a terrible person for electrical stuff. Yeah, man, the, yeah, I like these handlebars. So much easier to kind of like throw around. So much easier to throw around. I think I did well. I did very well. I, I don't want to brag, but yeah, handlebars work extremely well. So if you're interested in getting some cheap handlebars, XR650R handlebars work. Oh, is this a free bicycle here? Oh. What kind of bike is that? Oh, that's a crap mongoose. Mm. It's funny, people just throw away stuff. Look at that, it's just so much easier to kind of throw into the corners. That is a big handling improvement. These handlebars are a handling improvement. Cheap handling. This is really quite amazing. I am so surprised. Damn, really? this is really surprising how well these handle. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.